Osaka style rice wine, sweet, flavorful, and great when added to stir fries or soup. This process takes some time and patience. This video will be divided into two parts. This video will be of rice wine, next video will be of red rice yeast. Do watch this video slowly, take notes as every detail is important. Two, three, let's go! Welcome back to my 100 recipe challenge ingredient list at the end of this video. I am using this Thai brand of extra glutinous rice. You can use any trusted brand of yours. Here I'm using 4 pounds of it. Wash them thoroughly for at least 3 to 4 times. and then strain them out. Heat up some water for the rice to be steamed. And when the water is boiling hot, add in the glutinous rice to be steamed. We are steaming it for at least one hour. And after an hour, it should look like this. Keep it aside and let it cool for another hour. In the meantime, we are preparing the yeast ball with water. All we are doing is taking four of these round yeast balls, add them into a Ziploc bag or any plastic bag that you find. Sealing them properly. And we are crushing them into pieces. Try your best to crush them really, really small. And now we will add them to a quarter pot of water. Add the mixture in. Using your hand, making sure the yeast ball is crushed into the water. It's well mixed. And now take another huge pot or a huge container, whatever you have. Make sure that it's completely padded dry and clean. Because this will be used in fermentation process, so you want to make sure that it's extremely clean. Next, add in the glutinous rice in. This step is crucial, make sure you're paying attention. Add in the yeast water bit by bit to the rice and squeezing the rice against the pot. Make sure the yeast ball is crushed, add them bit by bit in. 
When you are making this, make sure all the rice gets coated with the yeast water. Stick them to the edge of the container. Keep in mind we are trying to form a hole in between. So we are creating a hole in between just like this. And now cover the pot or container just like this. You can use any cloth that will keep it warm and ferment faster. We are keeping it for 15 days. After 15 days, it will look like this. To that, we will add sake. I am using a Japanese sake here. And we add it to the glutinous rice. I added in a bottle of it and we wait for another week. Cover it up again. After another week, it should look like this. Now that the rice is fermented, we separate the fermented glutinous rice with the wine. The rice on top will be used to make red rice seeds while the bottom liquid will be boiled and made into rice wine. This video will be divided into half and we will be focused on creating the Hakka style rice wine. Be assured that you don't have to squeeze out all the liquid from the rice wine. Just a pot is enough. Now let's bring it to a boil. Boil for around 15 minutes. And once it's done, let it cool for an hour. Them to a bottle please make sure the bottle is extremely dry and clean add them to your asian stir fry soup and my favorite chili chicken add them to your dish and see it changes the aroma and flavor and enhances the taste wasn't that easy it surely takes weeks but the result and flavor is worth it thank you and do watch the next part to see what we do with the rice